hi fam welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl lady a and this is authentic skincare if you're passing by for the first time god bless you for clicking on my video and if you're a comeback subscriber thank you for always keeping up with your girl in today's video i will be showing you how to make a luxury um lightning body milk okay guys um this is going to be an advanced um formulation it is going to be a cosmetic formula okay it is advanced in the sense that we'll be making it from scratch to finish no pro mixing from scratch to finish all natural but with active if effective ingredients okay so this is the ingredients in 100 percent this is what it looks like in 100 percent then um as we go on in the video um, I will show you how I converted it from 100% to grams for those that do not know how to convert or those that are new to standard ways of writing cosmetic formulas, okay? So the first thing you want to do is write out the formula um, on a book, okay? And write out the possible and calculate the possible badges you would make, okay? So first of all, the 100% to be in front then, the possible badges you can make like 250 ml, 350, 1 kg, 5000 kg. Yes, with the with this same recipe you can make any size badge you want, okay? So let's jump right into it. Okay, I'm starting with phrase A, which is my first phrase. So in this phrase we have three ingredients, distilled water, alantium powder and disodium edta okay this is the water we're going to be using to make um, our emulsion okay so i measured out distilled water um i measured out the distilled water and up next i'll be at i'll be measuring out the alantium so wherever you have distilled water and any active you just measure it out um this is alantium powder is good for suiting skin suiting um, preventing reaction for irritations of the skin okay so here is it i use two percent i'm sorry one percent of our lantern powder one percent of the lantern powder so i simply divided it as one divided by 100 times 250 gram which gave me 2.5 grams so i add i measured out 2.5 gram and added it to the distilled water here i'm adding disodium edta disodium edta is a chilator in case you're new to it um a chilator does so many things um i might not have enough time to talk about it in a video so you can browse about it in my next videos trust me i will dive in okay it's super good okay i use the chilator in 0.5 percent okay so i added it to the distilled water and i stir okay so um i'm gonna set this aside set um phrase a is ready to go okay here we have phrase b which is gonna be our um where we are gonna put our uh, um wax our emollient stage okay okay i'm using the silky wax okay i'm using four percent of our secure wax so here i measured four divided by 100 times 250 gram and i got 10 okay here i have 10 grams of my silky wax okay um i'm also adding in right now cetyl alcohol which is an, a, a cold emollient okay it's going to be helping stabilize our silky work okay i added that in two percent so two divided by 100 times um 250 gram um that is um um five grams so i added five gram of our cetyl alcohol and um next i'll be adding my sunflower oil of, of course you know that you hope we always um, it's very important to have oils when you want to dissolve your wax okay so i'm gonna go double boil this too right now so this is it after double boiling i'm sorry if the video is going very fast i don't want it to be too long i'm going to be adding in the water okay into our our um wax or our wax phrase okay this is called emulsification okay trying to combine water wax and oil together okay so i'm going to be stick blending it together okay this is going to serve as our base cream like our cream base okay um, i'm gonna set the sets this is um phrase a and b i'm gonna set it aside okay up next we have phrase c in this phrase we're gonna have xanthan gum and glyceryl okay um which is gonna help us um to soften the skin okay glycerin is a, is a humectant it's gonna help to soften the skin okay we're gonna be mixing the xanthan gum and the glycerin together because it's not advisable to just put xanthan gum directly into your cream it's always good to make a slurry with your glycerin okay so when you mix your glycerin and your xanthan gum it's it's called a slurry making a slurry so you mix and mix together 
um i'm just trying to make this you know very easy for those that do not know anything about cosmetic formula so i want this recipe in as much as it's advanced to be easy okay to not be scary to those that are new to it so this is my phrase d in my phrase d we're gonna have most of our actives that are water soluble okay most of our actives that are water soluble so i'm going to go in with after measuring the distilled water um i'm going to go in with our first active which are alpha betaine. i added this in two percent so that's two divided by 100 times 250 that is five grams so i'm, I'm adding five gram of my alpha butene powder okay alpha butene this is a water soluble powder so they will dissolve in it properly i did um okay i'm gonna add the second active which is our glutathione powder now notes the alpha butene and glutathione are amazing ingredients you can see why this is a luxury lotion they are amazing ingredients they are not cheap they are affordable but not cheap ingredients okay they are really good high-end ingredients they are very effective okay so um i also use the glutathione in two percent which is five gram as well and you can see at this stage the water is clear because they are water soluble now i add sepi white msh please note that this is the original sepi white okay this one is more expensive than alpha beauty oh, please note that um the sepi white did not dissolve properly because it wasn't supposed to be added to the phrase d so please add your sepi white to phrase b you see when i write out the recipe you'll notice the sepi white is written in this phrase b that's with the wax so when you double boil it um sepi white only dissolves in uh with heat in oil okay please i i was experimenting okay here i'm adding um a powder called msm okay this powder is so good i'm gonna write the full name on the screen this powder is super good super good so um this solution is clumsy because of the sepi white we added okay every other powder is dissolving it's water soluble but the sepi white shouldn't have been in this stage thankfully this cream is mine okay so um i do not make it this way when i make for clients professionally okay um i'm adding in my glycolic acid this is an exfoliating powder very 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 good for exfoliation okay it's also water soluble every other powder dissolved rapidly in the solution but the sepi white did not dissolve okay so um now we're back to just i'm going into like now our emulsion and just stick blending it okay to make sure it's properly formed and thicken properly and it has cooled down you only add your active ingredients your other active ingredients when your base um the phrase a and b has cooled down properly okay you can see i added phrase c which is the xanthan gum and the glyceryl okay i added it and now i'm adding phrase d which is all our active ingredients okay this cream was very okay despite the fact that the sepi white did not dissolve but just so that you get that perfect cream which you can sell and your clients will not you know ask you why there are little seeds in your cream please add your sepi white to your phrase b okay i just didn't want to like you know i would i just want to be very sincere when i you know teach you guys how to make this lotion okay now this is our phrase d in this phrase we'll have kojic deep kojic deep is an oil soluble powder as well you don't need heat to heat it so please do not add it to the phrase b okay do this separately because you do not need heat to heat it i added um five percent of our kojic deep okay and i'll be using coconut oil because my skin flourishes a lot to coconut oil um the other options are grapeseed oil or sweet almond oil or almond oil okay i'm adding 10 percent of my coconut oil and um, i'm adding it to five percent of my kojic dip so same measurement five divided by 100 times the amount of badge you want to to use okay so just to confirm that your your if you feel oh your kojic dip has not dissolved this is a way to confirm apply it in onto your skin and you will feel that it's not itchy or choking your skin that is when you know sorry for the language that is when you will know that you know your kojic dip has dissolved even if it looks like a paste it's properly dissolved okay um if it chokes your skin or it's itchy you then you know that probably the oil is not is a quality it's not a quality oil you shouldn't have used that oil to dissolve the kojic dip okay so i added the kojic dip to um our base 
and um, this is our last phrase in this last phrase i added in propylene glycol this is dimethicone dimethicone is an ingredient that is used to smoothen the skin it's just it's almost like um, msm powder it softens smoothens the skin is very good for lotion i added it in one percent okay i added my propylene glycol in three percent for some reason i don't know why that wasn't recording i, I didn't record adding problem i call i don't know i guess i didn't know when my camera was off okay okay this is tocopherol um you can put this together or you can add it one by one to the cream the last stage okay it doesn't really matter okay so i'm adding the tocopherol which is a, a very um and a, a a form of vitamin e that is really really nice okay here i'm adding in jamal plus jamal plus is a preservative a broad spectrum preservative it's really good it's going to help ensure that our cream lasts so this cream can last as long as six months to um 18 months six months to 18 months okay depending on how you store the cream okay so this is it i'm showing you the fragrance add i also added my fragrance in 0.5 my jama plus was in 0.5 percent as well okay i didn't even measure the fragrance because i'm using a fragrance oil i just put some few drops it's very strong i used like three drop and you know it was really nice so i'm gonna just stick blend all the ingredients you know stick blend stick blend till i get that look at how luxurious this lotion look okay um if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section i'm gonna do more videos i would not make it as fast as this one is because you know i had to even you know edit this video very very fast you know as i'm doing my voiceover okay um right now i'm doing the most important part after making any cosmetic formula you must take ph you must take the ph of the product okay so i just added a little amount of the cream and i poured water in the beaker and i'm just going to be dipping in my ph slip okay you can use a ph meter or a ph slip okay um you're going to be seeing me use the two okay but if you i know that if you're making it at home ph slip is easier to use okay so um yes so um the reason why ph is very important is it helps your product um all your active ingredients work so you have to pick a ph whereby all the ingredients you put together can work at that ph okay so when i checked this this was at 6.5 6 to 6.5 which was quite high glycolic acid will not work at this ph so if you don't take your ph it's it's some of your ingredients will not work okay here i have my ph buffer citric 50 percent citric acid okay i already posted a video on how i made um the 10 percent sodium hydroxide the citric acid is used to reduce the ph while the 10 percent sodium hydroxide is used to increase the ph okay so i just added like four or five drop of the citric acid and i'm going to go in again and check go in again and check um this the ph of this cream now why should you make this cream why is this cream so good if you're having issues like green veins if you because of promixed cream this is the best lotion it will make you have a very clean sweet color help with hyperpigmentation help with dark spot on the body it will erase your skin your skin will be so clean okay so after um you know um dipping the ph buffer the citric acid after adding a few drops i checked it again and it was correct it was at between 4 to 4.5 which is perfect our cream will work perfectly at this ph so make sure this cream is within 4 to 4.5 all the active ingredients alpha between glutathione everything sepia why they work at a range of 4 to 4.5 that's why ph taking is very important so i'm just filling in my bottle now um filling it in my bottle and yeah this lotion is mine i really enjoy using it it's very effective so fam that's it for this video um do not forget to leave your questions in my comment section please share and like till my next video bye